so I've had a few requests of how you actually print things on the Flashforge Dreamer. So here's an example. Here's some snap-on fan guards. All you've got to do is go to download this thing, right, and you get the STL file. So we'll just click that and download it. Right, we'll give that a minute. Okay, that's done. So now we'll just drag this uh, to the desktop uh, so you can see it. Right, so I'll minimize that. So there's our um, file. So I'll just open up uh, the software. So this is the software that you get with the FlashForge Dreamer. And simply drag and drop, and there's our file. Uh, and you can spin around in 3D, have a look, uh, zoom in and out. But of course, I wouldn't recommend printing it like that. Uh, okay, so select the model. Uh, rotate uh, x-axis there we go right and now we'll put it on the platform and in the center and we're going to use the left extruder okay so that's that's pretty much all you've got to do it looks like and where it's blue that's what's actually touching the print bed okay so uh, now that we've got that done it's you literally go print uh, we're going to use the slicer engine. So anyway, this is only a pretty simple object, so I'm going to go low. I want it pretty strong, so we'll put 100%. Speed, 120 millimeters a second, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, temperature, uh, I, my PLA needs to be printed at 200 degrees Celsius, and I'll heat the platform to 60 degrees. So we'll just go OK and I've selected the um, SD card that came with the printer. Now what I usually do is left extruder, P for PLA, 100% infill, and I'll put uh, 40 millimeter fan, for example, at 300 microns. That's just how I name my files. All right, and it's going to save it as a .g whatever file, and just go OK. So now it's going to slice uh, this model. It uh, it might take a while because I'm using the screen recorder at the same time. Oh, well, I guess not. All right, so that's done. And it's going to use 0 0.8 meters of material out of the left extruder. And it's going to take about 11 minutes. Now, at this stage, you can zoom in and have a look at the layers, how it's going to print. Uh, it looks okay. And you can drag down to see what each layer is going to look like. Yeah, it all looks fine. And that's it, just go back. And now just take the memory card to the printer. So we've now got our file on the supplied memory card. So what we've got to do is put it in the FlashForge Dreamer. So it just goes in the side and turn it on. And it boots up. So now we've already printed one fan guard and it seems to come out all right and you can see where it printed on the print bed uh, I've got a glass print bed um, so all right we'll just get ready to print another one we've now got our glue stick and we already know where to put the glue so I'll just give it a a oh, good dowsing. Yeah, that'll do. Something like that. So now to print our file, we go print memory card. And if we go down, left PLA 140 millimeter fan, 300 microns, and go print. So it's going to heat the left extruder to 200 Celsius and the platform to 60. But anyway. goes through the startup sort of process. All right, and the heads will just stay there um, until everything gets warm. And what I usually like to do is just push a little bit of filament through. Um, so after around 165 degrees Celsius, uh, you should be able to push a bit of filament through. 
Okay, all right, so all you do, just grab the filament and give it a push. And there we go. We've got some filament coming through. Just gets rid of any crap that might be in the heads. And also, I, I like to leave it a bit dangling and you'll find out why in a minute. All right, so it's hot enough, so it's raising the bed. Grab this strand, break it off, and let it draw an outline. That's, that's called the skirt. And now we're going to start drawing our fan. Yard. Set on focus. So we're 900%. There it goes. So this is what it looks like when uh, you finish a print. It'll lower the bed and it'll home the extruders. And that's it. So there we go. Build finished at 18 minutes. Just go tools, jog, and we'll bring up the bed. Oh, there we go. That wasn't an issue really. Just pops off like that and 
There you go. No cleaner, as you saw. And pop. We've now got two <laughs> extruder fan covers. So you'll always be left uh, with one little stringy bit of filament. That's where the printer stops and returns to the home position. So there's our stringy bit. All right. So we just get our flame. Boop. That's it. All done. All right. Perfect. All right. That's a rough cleanup. Um, hope you enjoyed. Bye.